Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Indica. Last time we descended even further into madness as we tend to do on this channel and especially in this game as we reached uh, the Temple of Damascus where the Kudets are so um, Ilya can get, get his arm back. I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we stumbled across some kind of puzzle where we saw demon versions of ourselves in askew dimensions askewed dimensions and we ended off that chapter with a nun looking at us right in the camera right through our soul whistling a happy tune how is this going to end let's find out cathedral of john of damascus hey everyone Sorry to interrupt, just a very quick note. I want to apologize ahead of time for the uh, camera issues that you're going to see later on in the video. Um, there was a patch that was released earlier today, right before I uh, filmed this final episode, um, that seems to have made things a little bit worse. I don't know what the patch actually did, but the, there's quite a bit of game stuttering and a good section of the near the end where uh, my camera freezes... Uh, with my face in hilarious poses. So, again, I do sincerely apologize. It won't affect the game experience. You just won't see me moving, my face moving all that much. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Enjoy. I'm so excited to see where this goes. Cannot climb up there. Look, that's our cathedral from the poster. You know, I just also realized, can we see the letter? We can. To Father Herman Danilov Monastery from Varvara Abess of the Belovatsky Convent. I cannot open it, though. Even though she ripped it open, it might have been in her head. We may not actually know what's in there. Oh, so everything we picked up we can actually see over here. When do we get an apple? Ew. That looks foul, man. It looks like rock or granite or something. Orlovka. Take on the Fairman's favorite variety. Can't say those apples are particularly tasty. In fact, they were often unbearably sour. But the monastery doesn't have a lot of joys to offer. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Anyways, let's move on. I just wanted to see if we can actually see what was in the letter. Who would walk this way? Where are we going, dude? Where are you taking me? Cool. Very cool. More posters to hand out to the little kitties. Awesome. Let's light a match and say a prayer. Why didn't we get anything? I, 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 oh, that's cold, man. I thought we were going to get some, like, karma points. Apparently not. Oh, my God. You're going to drop down. Whoa, where are you going, bro? Relax. We'll get there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Is. What? The tavern you were talking about. There it is, below. Yeah. By the way, see the pawn shop opposite the tavern? Its owner is now in Bats. Ephraim's brother. They've always hated each other, and yet depended on each other. 
Nan was buying stolen stuff from the vagrants, who would then go to Ephraim to spend the money on shitty wine and whores. And Ephraim's spoons would often end up in Nan's shop. We used to call them the Batshit Brothers. Why don't they like what, each other? What? Because each of them thinks that the other brother is richer. Soon you'll be able to play a concert there again. I want to see it, yes? Yeah, he's giving you a cold shoulder on that one. The only tune he'll be playing is with his mouth. Uh, whistling is what I meant. Or the harmonica. You can play a harmonica one-handed. What is this for? Oh, well, I, oh, I didn't mean to. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Well, uh, why would we want to go back down? Is that some kind of puzzle thing? Hang, hang on, dude. Hang on. One minute here. Masha went strolling in the grove. The priest comes home from service and sees his wife getting her ass handled by the stable hand. What an ass. What an ass. Oh. Wait. No. No. Wait, wait, let's talk about... No, I lose karma points. No. Find an indecent book. God damn it. All right. Not, not, not so smart. Not so smart. But look at these pretty views. There's a guy down there and there. Oh, there's Ilya. <clears throat> anyway. Shit, it's not finished. Fuck. I don't want to lose points. Well, at least I got an achievement. Why did she look weird? She's like falling. She looks like she's on a skateboard, but like in the middle of the air, and she's like, you know, about to fall off the fucking thing. Oi. Oi. That's the first time I've ever seen the Y button like that. Down! Down! Up! Down! Up! Down! Up! Down! Up! All right. Get me down. Down! Up! Down! Look how stuff. Who builds this shit? Let's see. Oh, there's no, I can't command him anymore. Why are we always... Wait, rotate the hook. with it. What am I doing with this? This guy's just like, what are these motherfuckers doing? Look at 
Pussy ninja is. Stupid cow. Boy, fuck! What are you doing? Get the wall! Stop yelling! I'm coming down! Yelling at me. What are you doing? Fucking bitch. You're all fucking bitch. Oh, I can't. No, wait. I can't rotate anymore. Oh, they're down there. Look at her. Look at her. Alright. I'm assuming I, it needs to be like this. Did I do good? I really don't think that's the right way. It wasn't supposed to go there, was it? Down! I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Like, obviously, I, I know I'm supposed to do this, but... So this is where I got it from. So clearly it's not supposed to be here. I don't think that's it either. I can go up here or something. No. Ah! I'm missing something. Clearly missing something. Can't like hop over this or anything, can I? No. Which way are we supposed to be going? Is it that way? Because he's saying it's not finished, right? So, I think he's... Is it meant to be this way? But that, don't, that looks like a dead end. Maybe it is supposed to be over here. But I don't know what's not finished, though. I think that's where we're supposed to be going. Okay, so... Down! Pray for my fucking soul, please. All right, let's try this one more time. Oh, 
Although I don't know what putting this over here is going to accomplish. Why don't you go down there and do this? I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Down. So doing this, I don't think really does anything. Okay, I'm maybe I'm supposed to pick up something else first. I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Now I get why these people are so mad at me. I, I, I just realized what I'm supposed to do, and I, I did it the wrong way, basically. Alright, you can go down this way. built. Let's fucking go. It only took me like six hours to figure out what the fuck to do. Sorry, guys. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Alright, let's go. You're welcome, by the way. Oh, did you just push me back? Fuck you. Okay, now what? Here? Alright, let's go. Bye. Go. Come on. No, I beat you. Doesn't matter. Wait. Can we do that? Out of everything we've done so far, this is what you're worried about. 
For truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, said Matthew 17.20. It's true, he did say it. Yet? It's over. Been too long already. Last day the 23rd. Today, the cadets will be taken further. You'll be able to find it in the lips. Yeah, it's that's still where. Here. Please, if you only knew what we've been through. People showed up from other countries. Everyone who wanted to was already venerated. Listen, it's... if you don't let me see the miracle. I'm dead. Literally dead. Like my you, I will fall to the ground. I can be dead. honest with you, right? Can I confess to you? Well, yes, you are. Yes. Sure. What is this voice? He escaped from prison to commune with well, America. What do you mean? If only you knew what, what he's been through. Oh well, fine. We'll wait here. Wait here. And he's going to call the cops. Priest will never break the seal of confession. God! Me. Uh, somehow I doubt that. Yes, it was. This way. What did he tell you? There he is. There he hey. is. No, no, we, we were just joking around. He has a knife. Don't come closer. No, he only has one arm. No way. He's got a knife. He'll stab me. Step aside. Oh, oh my god! Shoot him! Shoot him! Freedom, my dear! Hey, it's here! What? The cadet. This is goofy, man. Hey, come, come, come here, help me. Hey, hold it, hold it. Like that. Hold it. Come on, oh, hold it. With your hands up. Help you, Dan. I'm gonna count to three. One. Don't you dare. This is only ground. Usually people show up about their legs. And? They grow back? It's not about that. You see, if the Lord allows... Enough. Let it go. Oh my god, what have we done? We can't see each other anymore. Why not? Oh shit.
Why not? I'm getting married. What? This isn't my decision. What can I do? Run away with me. To wander around with the gypsy tribe? No, just the two of us. We'll go to the city. And how will we earn a living? We'll get by. I'll get a job. But for starters, do you know where your father keeps the key to his register? Wow. N no? What? Stealing from my father? Why stealing? He wouldn't withhold money from his own daughter, right? He only runs the store for your sake. I have my own key to the register. My father trusts me, but I would never... I'll do everything myself. Just give me the key. Maybe we shouldn't. So that's who steals our bikes. Shit. It's Pac-Man. Oh no! Ah! No, you son of a bitch! Ah. Oh no! No! You miss me, bitch. Oh shit. Oh, you fucker. Bye! You will not leave. Indica! What are you doing here? Do you know him? I... don't. Hey! Sure you don't know him? No. Indica! Stay away from her. He seems to know you. I don't know him! Oh shit! Bro just got splatted in half, man. Oh. My God, what have we done? Mother of God, help me. I have strong hope in thee. I implore thy son that he may place me on his right hand, and worthy as I am when he sits to judge the living and the dead. Amen. Ever heard of Makar? The Scytheman? No. There was a lot about him in the papers, but only after he was hanged. Seven kids lost their heads because of his side. What? Well, he chopped them off. Are you comparing him to me? Well, no. No, I think Makar is something of a saint. Listen, let me tell you. Makar had three kids. All of them boys. One day, he, he dropped something on his youngest. A, a wagon, or a wardrobe, or something. It was so bad that the poor boy stopped feeding his legs. Couldn't sleep at night. Lay there all day, crying from pain. The village doctor couldn't do anything, so well, Maka couldn't take it anymore. He went to the priest and said, Bless me, Father, to end the child's suffering. Well, the priest didn't bless him, of course. He sent him home to pray and think about the salvation of his soul. Makar prayed for a week, but the son wouldn't stop screaming. So, Makar snapped, took the cover off his side, said a prayer, 
and ended the suffering with a single sweep. He went back to the priest and said, It's done, Father. I don't have a soul anymore. I lost my right to think about salvation back when I dropped that wardrobe on my son. Or was it a wagon? I don't remember. So, my soul is done. Better tell me where he is now, in hell or in heaven. The priest said, in heaven, of course. He didn't get to sin. In a way, you gave him a gift. Sent him straight to the kingdom of heaven without any earthly suffering. Well, this thought got stuck in McCarr's head. So he went home. I bet you what it's the, the moral of the story is going to be like, since I helped someone get into heaven, technically that should help me get into heaven. Right? Even though I killed someone. I bet you that's what the story is. Put his other sons in front of a kiosk. Said a prayer with them. And chop their heads off. But after that, he went completely insane and started hunting down his neighbor's kids. Managed to kill four of them before he got caught. Why is he a saint? Think of it this way. Some martyr gets burned at the stake because of Christ. Does it mean he buys himself eternal life for ten minutes of suffering? Hmm? Can we call this a ring of sacrifice? My car is a different story. To save someone else's soul, he sacrificed his own. Why are you telling me all this? Father Proc, the one you killed. He couldn't have asked for a better gift. He's now an innocent victim, a martyr. Maybe he'll even be canonized. Uh, and what about somebody in the fucking door, what relax. He got hanged. Okay, I can't walk. Like, stop. Stop pushing me. Like, what the fuck? And what will happen to you? You'll get hanged, I guess. Listen, what's your name? It doesn't matter. Need something? Doesn't matter indeed. Listen, we didn't kill Father Buckle. Let me go. Don't take your conscience with sin. I'll repay you. And what exactly can you repay me with? Well, what do you want? What do I want? Come closer. Come on. Turn around. What? Turn around. I mean, what did you expect him to say? Oh, oh. Come on. Now sing. What? I don't know. Something. French anthem. I don't know their anthem. Well, sing something you know. Quiet forest love. Lullaby, all the stars are in the sky. If I can share the question, oh, come on, come on, silly. Don't be afraid. My faith, my faith points. I guess I can't do anything worse than that. It's so easy to step over everything you believe in. Step where? Somewhere. Onto your side. What kind of side is that? Are you going to argue again? That there are no sides, that there's neither good nor evil. Well, you can try. 
Convince me that I haven't done anything bad. Or can you not even do that now? Bad? What does that word mean? I've killed a priest. Don't play dumb. I'm not. But still, what exactly does that word mean? Bad. Sinful. Of the devil. And how do you know what is of the devil and what is not? There are commandments. So we're checking against a formal list of regulations. No, everything is really obvious. It's evil, dishonest, unfair. Evil? There's not a drop of evil in despondency, avarice, or bawdry. Dishonest? A dog is honest. It eats when it's hungry, bites when it's scared, copulates when there's someone to do it with. Well. You remember. I'm talking about intentional dishonesty for one's own gain. So, pretending your whole life that you don't want something you want. That you don't feel something you feel for eternal life in heaven. Doesn't that fit perfectly with your definition? What else did you say? Unfair. Is it fair that one tree has a thousand leaves and another two thousand? Is it fair when two people throw the dice, one gets a six and the other gets a two? Of course, all this is rational, but we don't like this rationality. We angrily call it unfair. But if you forget your emotions, it turns out, strictly speaking, this word can't be applied to anything. What about what's happening now? What can be more revolting? Disgusting. Vile. I don't need any deliberations. I know it. I feel it. When you're cold, you don't need to think about it. You just feel it. You know that you're cold. Do you understand that there is no cold without warmth? You can't get rid of poverty and suffering, leaving only wealth and happiness. Leave me alone. Oh, I'd love to. I will only disappear when you stop wanting me to. It's not that hard. Just remember that good and evil, warm and cold, those are just lines on a thermometer. God and the devil, those are you. One cannot exist without the other. this, let's say, complete exposure. No, you can't. I tell you what, fear not earthly justice for that of heaven. When the soul is separated from the body... Stop right there, you bitch! Stop! My hand! My hand! Fuck! Stop! Stop right there, you bitch! Help! Oh, first person. Oh, hi. 
Where is the cadet? One second. Oh. oh. What is going on Did with I the graphics? Did I my trousers? Where is the cadet? Well, um... <laughs> they didn't even give me five rubles for it. What? Give me the money. I don't have any. It's gone. You know, I've already conquered the guitar, but the, the brass, the pipes... Interesting. Where is the cadet? Mm, never heard of it. Someone just exchanged it for a trumpet. A, a man with one arm? Oh, you are extremely lucky. This is exactly what you're looking for. An amazing artifact of unspeakable wondrous power. Just 25 rubles. What do you mean, 25? You got it for five. Mm. 20 for everything. <laughs> whoa, One whoa, second, whoa, whoa. I just need to have a look. You can look, but, but don't touch. What? What did you sell me, you scumbag? Oh, damn. Um, hold on. Look, it, it doesn't even fucking you work. Just puke in it or something. God. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Huh. Get your ass out of here! Get off me! What do you mean? Okay. So we have to do it three times, I think. Baby, I'm breaking in that karma. I don't care, I'm going to max it out. I don't care, I'm maxing it out. I'm gonna try and get to nine or ten thousand at least. Oh, it goes more than that. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. That one. Any you points? You get a chance to get extra two. Get the multiplier. Oh boy. Hang on a second. What's going on with my camera? Has my camera been bugging out the whole time? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, I wouldn't have done that. Can I undo that? Oh, well.
I still don't get the point of this leveling system. I know, by the way, I just went through a whole bunch of story and I haven't said shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it um for the next little I, I'm thinking we're gonna end soon. You get a chance to get four extra. Oh, we got a lot of levels to get through, man. Is there a point to this leveling? Like, seriously. And my camera's messed up again. I think. I'm really sorry, guys, if my camera's messed up. I'm very sorry about the camera issue, guys. I don't know what was going on. Um, like, my my face was, like, frozen for, like, the longest time on there, I know. Uh, and I don't know why. Um, it, it's not normally this bad. There was a patch literally released uh, today. It seems like it made it all worse. I don't know. Regardless. I wanted to keep quiet during the credits so I can actually you know, talk afterwards and you can see my face. Um, let me just turn on my fan here. Okay, so. A lot to get through uh, the last little while. And again, again, uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been saying much. So. Let's go all the way back to uh, the cathedral when, you know, the priest basically ratted us out, which obviously he was going to fucking do. You say that he's a fucking uh, escaped convict or whatever, and he, you think they're going to... He didn't even claim sanctuary. The guy didn't even claim sanctuary. 
I mean, that's the, the thing you have to do when you're like a comic. Everyone knows that. Anyways, whatever. Brought the guards in. And they're basically saying, you know, uh, get up and like surrender. Ilya is having none of that. He is going to pray at the Kudets. And clearly it doesn't work. So what I find interesting is that uh, Indica is arrested for killing the priest, even though it wasn't him. It wasn't her, sorry. She had no gun. Um, it was obviously one of the guards, whatever. She was arrested and Ilya wasn't. So the story of the saint, uh, Saint uh, Ma Ma Makar, not didn't i mean it wasn't it didn't go the way i thought it was gonna go he became a saint because he prevented others from sinning i mean come on that's just he prevented others by sinning by killing them like come on that's that's pretty fucking dark even for saint there are some saints that have some really dark stories especially like in the christian lore but that is way too goddamn dark and it seems like they're throwing the saint title like left, right, and center now, uh, like back then. Everyone was a fucking saint. Anyways. So, in order to gain her freedom, she basically unclear if she blows him or actually has sex with him. And during this time, she's in her head to block it all out. And it's interesting what the devil uh, was talking about. In a way, she's right. In a way, he's right. About, like, especially, like, the fairness. About uh, the purity, uh, like, uh, evil. You know what I mean? Like, evil is only based on intentions. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, if a, if a dog is hungry, like, it's it's gonna eat. Like, there's, there's nothing malevolent in that. If, if a dog is hungry and starts, like, chewing on a human... Because it's hungry, there's nothing really malevolent in that. Like it's, it's, it's animal nature. It's instinct. You eat to survive, right? Even if, like, even intentions, like anything that you do, um, you could be cruel to someone, but not have ill intentions to be cruel. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what's a good example? <laughs> I can't even really think of one at the moment. Um, like, you know how, like, uh, your friends are... They, there's this old saying that, like, your friends are... Your true friends are the ones that, like, speak honestly to you. They don't, like... They'll, they'll give you the tough love, you know what I mean? They won't be like, oh, no, like... You're doing great. Like, they don't... Uh, they don't, like... Um, give like complete affirmation on like everything every single thing you do like they they criticize they don't just say like they don't constantly praise you a true friend criticizes they give you constructive feedback sometimes that stuff can be hurtful uh it can be really hurtful and actually end friendships but there's no evil intent behind it you guys you know what i'm saying you guys get what i'm saying that that's kind of what i'm talking about and in that sense, the devil has a point. The the devil has a point. So once the deed is done, she leaves and finds Ilya. I don't, okay. There was some weird frame rate issues. I don't know if it's the game or if it was meant to be like that. I, th I think it was just the game being weird. Um, especially because like my camera was freezing and all that shit. And it kind of smoothed out once we got into the pawn shop. But Ilya's arm clearly hadn't reattached or grown back or whatever, which means it didn't work. So then she goes in the pawn shop and asks for the cadets, and the guy somehow leaves his store for whatever reason, leaving us in there alone. So <laughs> the reason I was like shaking the cadets and I want to get so many points, I was kind of subconsciously trying to like uh see if there was any kind of achievement 
I want to see how high I could get. Um, and she's looking in the mirror and she sees like the demon. Um, so you can shake it as much as you want, but once you eventually leave, it looks like her image shifts back to herself. She opens up the cadets. There's nothing in there. And then like some balls fall on the floor. She looks through a door or like she's just looking around and like, that's it. That's the end of the game. So interesting ending. What I take away from it, I, like I'll probably have to think on it some more, but from what I take from it, when she's seeing herself in the in the mirror as like a demon, when she's like shaking the kudets, she's seeing that's how she sees herself. Like Indica, it really seems like she's has she has some kind of mental illness, um, and it seems evident from the the flashbacks. You know what I mean, like. Uh, uh, what was the guy's name? Mirka. Um, he basically stole for her. He was going to run away with her. And when he was caught, she denied ever knowing him. Causing her father to kill him. Right in front of her. And that could traumatize anyone. Especially if you're a little girl. Like, God, I don't know how she was. Maybe somewhere in her teens, I would assume. I mean, they were in bed together. But still... That would traumatize. The way it was even split in half. I mean, Jesus Christ. I didn't think a shotgun could actually do that for with one shot. But still. Um, that would traumatize anyone, right? And I think that's where she got her mental scars from. That's where she started having issues with reality. That's when she started having voices in her head that she maybe is an evil person. She is sinful because she denied... She used uh, America, you know what I mean, for her own purposes. Because once she was found out, she denied everything. So, when she's looking at herself in the mirror at the end, because of what she did in the jail cell, she sees herself as sinful. She is not, uh, you know, she she's not like, I don't want to say holy, but... She's not pure anymore, you know, even though she wasn't pure to begin with because she had sex previously, but whatever. And when she kissed the Kudets and she felt like she did everything she needed to, she shook the thing and got all this karma and she felt good about herself. She felt redeemed. She felt like she got what she wanted out of this thing, which is why she started seeing herself as normal. And when she opened it up and saw nothing in there. Again, this is my own speculation. I think it dawned on her that this whole thing was pointless. There is no uh, holy or unholy. You know, there is no real good and bad. Which is why at the end also, like, when she stands up and, like, you see those beads fall on her floor, fall on the floor. I think those are ro her rosary beads, the one that she's been holding on to, like, the whole time. I think the, like, it's, it, I think it's supposed to be evocative of, like, her faith, like, uh, flying away. Like, her faith being released from her. She's, she's lost her faith. And I think that's pretty much, like, cold, like, how the game ends. She's lost her faith, bam. That's it. Um, and the reason I also think this is because, again, I, I, what's the point of the leveling system? It literally led us nowhere. And I think it was meant to be on purpose that way. We were grabbing all these items and getting more karma and shit. And that one indecent book, we lost karma. But what did it get us? Absolutely nothing. It's an interesting game. Um, it sucks that there's no real... Um, there's no real point in playing it again. Unless you kind of want to see the story again. But there's no real replayability. Um, 
This game is pretty buggy. Like, my... Okay, I don't have, like, the best computer in the world or anything. My computer is, like, fairly average. A little bit above average, maybe. But, I mean, this game was buggy as hell. Like, my camera kept on stuttering a lot. So, I don't know. I, I felt like this could have used a little bit more work technically. But in all honesty, I thought it was a great story. Uh, goofy at times, for sure. Uh, very surreal. And it's an interesting journey that we went on uh, through this woman's uh, um, midlife crisis, I guess. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys thought of the game. Let me know if you have any different theories um, about what went on. If uh, if any of this was actually ever true, like in the Fisher Finder, remember how I was saying like this is some giant fish, these are some giant cans. I'm really wondering if this whole thing was in her head, because like I don't think there are fish. I think it looked like catfish, because I I kind of saw like the whiskers. I could have. I don't know fish that well. But, like, to have a whole refinery with constantly fish are going by, that many fish? That's a lot, man. And who's putting, like, fish into those, into those giant cans? Like, that's just bizarre. I really think, like, it, the whole thing was uh, askew. Like, it, I really thought, like, I even mentioned, like, they, they dropped to, like, that size. And everything seemed huge to them. But anyways... Even moving, like, the whole bridge, like, at the end. Like, come on. I don't think that really happened. I, I I believe it has to do with, like, a whole distorted reality thing. Like, it's... She's doing stuff in real life, but we don't know exactly what she's doing. she's doing. We're only seeing what she's seeing. You know? We don't know what she's actually doing. We're only doing what she thinks she's seeing. So, that again, that's my take. Who knows? But yeah, hope you guys liked the game. Uh, it was a nice short little game. Um, and again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if uh, you have any interesting theories. Um, and yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.